Hey, it's Pookie Cuties. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the first UK code orange that I have spotted. So if you want to see what's out there already, keep on watching. <laughs> So I bought a few bits from this company last year and I decided just randomly to have a quick look on the website just to see what was happening and I spotted some new signs out there on their website so obviously here we are on my YouTube channel let's go to their website so the website is The Range now over in America they've got all kinds of things going on at, you know TJ Maxx, Marshalls and all that good stuff. I just thought, I'll have a look at the range and as you can see from this, there's absolutely nothing in their categories showing up, but if we type in Halloween in the search bar, we get the Halloween page from last year. Now obviously you can see this still says 2021, but they actually have some new pieces. So this is very similar to what it was last year. But if we go into like home decorations, for example, you can already see on this front page, there are some new banners. So some bits that were there last year, but this new banner is really exciting. Now, I'm super excited about this color your own Halloween um, and terror train, Halloween house and terror train. Like that looks like so much fun. If you've got kids, so much fun. If you don't have kids, get it anyway. I am thinking about getting it for my Halloween party, either painting it before the party or maybe painting it during the party. I think that might be quite fun. So let's have a look through everybody's favorite category, bumpkins. As you can see, we've got some bits of like paint your own stuff from last year. We've also got these honeycomb characters. So I'm assuming they'll come flat packed and then you'll just open them up. We've got a pumpkin and a spider and a little ghosty. He's very cute, love that. Now we've also got um, these crochet your own pumpkins. Now I did see in the UK Halloween um, Facebook page, if you're not a member of that, go check it out, that people were saying they'd spotted these out in Home Bargains or B&M, but they are from last year, I remember seeing them last year, but um, obviously the range have them on sale at £8.39, so if you are into like crocheting your own bits and bobs, I highly recommend getting onto this website now and getting these, you know, for cheaper before they put the price back up, because they will inevitably put the price back up. Um, I really like these sort of paint your own pumpkins if you're, if you're into a little crafty like I am. So let's go into, let's go into window, oh no, let's go into door decorations, yeah. So they've got this new Halloween sign, looks very glittery, uh, made of wood, it's probably only yay high. I mean £1.29, it's a bargain. We've got these glitter garlands that they had last year and ooh, these carnival, carnival banner set. That's kind of cool. So in here you've got some very creepy looking clowns. So if you're thinking about doing a theme for your party, uh, this could be a good pack to go for. Some Fright Night, lots of odd body parts and creepy little unicycles we all know what that's supposed to be referencing and then this final banner that says carnival of fear very spooky now i wonder if they do sort of a set sort of like you know like if there's a themed set uh, it might not be all here just yet but they might be that this might be the set that they're going for this year okay no so they've just got the banner set fine but that might be a thing to watch out for this might be one of their themes that they're going to put in this year we've got the wreaths now i made my own wreath last year from lots of bits from the range and um tk maxx and hobbycraft and the works the works might be a good place to have a check on as well but if you don't want to make your own if you're not crafty they have absolutely loads and you can always just add to these as well if you 
don't want to create something from scratch. So let's have a look at their hanging decor. So not much new here. Ooh, it was a hell and there's an owl. So if you're going on a certain theme, you know, you might want that owl. Got a little witch. So we'll look at clowns and witches. That is horrifying. In a in a in the best way. Honestly, these masks are getting better and better every year. So if you're not big on getting dressed up or fancy dress for Halloween, you can always just buy one of those and wear your own clothes. That's scary enough. Uh, there's the witch again and the can evil banners at the bottom. Let's have a look at skelly bobs. Not much new in here. Oh, but there is a skeleton pillar candle holder. That's very cool. So obviously like a candelabra, a little spooky skelly bob standing in the blood of his own enemies. <laughs> or the body of his own enemies, should I say. So it's quite a good size and it's 9 99 Like that's a pretty good price point. I think this would be really cool for sort of a little centre table. Um, or maybe if you've got a... Um, um, Maybe if you've got a thing that goes over a fireplace, a mantelpiece, god, um, yeah maybe like a mantelpiece um, sort of section at each either end, you could put some flowers up there, or a table uh, centre piece, that would look really cool. So let's see if we can pull up everything, yeah there we go, all decorations, okay. So again couple of bits from last year and they don't have a new saw option. Now this looks fun. So this is a mister. No. This is a little skelly bob with a top hat. Little purple spiders. And he's got a mate. Oh wait. Oh, it's me looking at these little red spiders different. What I've just realised is one has a top hat and one has a witch's hat. That's really cool. So obviously if you want to, to get both, put them at either end or get two of each or one, you know, sort of a set of four maybe. I mean, they're £30 but they look quite sturdy and they're quite high, so 69 centimetres by 31.5. Now with a lot of things um, they put on here that there's an assortment so you won't guarantee which one you'll receive so if you do want one of each highly recommend waiting until they come into store but you'd think if they have enough stock in the beginning and you're first in line if you order two you're probably going to get one of each but I wouldn't bank on it so if you do want one of each get yourself down to store when things start popping up. I've also got another little Halloween pumpkin candle stick holder here. So I'm assuming the candle goes inside the head. This has got little spiders on here as well. So this one's orange and a little witchy's hat whereas the one we saw before was white. I think that had a top hat too. Now these little tinsel pumpkins and like the tinsel haunted house I think are really cute for sort of that um, adult theme but kid friendly. So they usually have loads of stuff that goes with this, so I recommend that highly for like a kiddie welcome party. Um, oh, and they've got a little party pack kit here. So what's in the bag? Let's have a look at the picture. So we get a little set of balloons, some little spooky bunting, it's like little jack-o'-lanterns. Does it say anywhere what's on it? Oh yeah, here we go. So six balloons, one bunting and a tablecloth. That's quite cool. So if you're having a kiddie party, um, I mean the tablecloth's probably not that big so it's probably good for just spills and, and things like that. I really like the look of this tea light holder but I have no... Oh, the tea light goes in the top. I saw the little hole there just was floating around. It's quite a good size for 12 99 as well. 
Now, I absolutely love these little creepy crawly packs. Um, I've, I think I got one last year from here and I like to put them around and about, see if people can find them, pop the big spiders behind the cushions and you know, things like that. Usually pop the skulls and anything that floats in the punch. Um, hopefully nobody's drunk one yet. Um, yeah, I like to put the little creepy crawlies in the hand wash as well. Um, people have told me years that that creeps them out so much. So we've got this little haunted Halloween tree balls. I mean, we know what he's meant to be. Copywriting aside, we know what he's meant to be. Um, so this is a battery operated um, treat bowl. So this also says they've got an assortment. Um, they've only got him at the minute. So I don't know why I've just gendered that. Um, so it obviously moves, it must have a sensor on it for when you put your hand in the bowl. Um, for £12.99, a couple of AA batteries, make sure you stop, stock up on batteries for Halloween. Again, I've got these little um, paint your own ceramic pumpkins, I hope they come out with some more of those. Now, they've got these little fat quarters, so if you're into crafting, these are really good. I actually have this pack from last year, I believe I bought it when it was in sale, so I think what's happened is a lot of this stuff didn't come in in time last year with the pandemonium that happened so you'll probably see a lot of stuff that was cheap go back up to full price because they've managed to get it everywhere now i definitely need some glow in the dark paint for halloween i didn't have any last year they've also got quite a lot of autumn things so if you want to just do something in the run up to halloween that's not necessarily spooky got lots of little autumn bits now I got this Halloween projector last year and I was unsure about whether to buy it or not and I was like $8.99, we'll try it, right? So it comes with four little um, slides that you pop in and it's multicoloured as it, as it whirs around. It literally does, it takes up like this much space, it's really not that big. And you get multicolours and I believe the four slides you get are a ghost um pumpkins bats and then a mixture of the two and i think a mixture of the three sorry with witches um and i had it on the outside in our hallway and it was quite light but it still showed up quite well on the wall so i think it was a really good bargain 899 um and it, it's just really compact you can pop it on a window ledge or you know anywhere really it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's battery operated so you don't need to plug it in anywhere And this, oh, they've got some little LED creepy string lights. So again, if you're buying online, it's an assortment. You get what you're given. It's got little bats, little pumpkins, and little scullies. These little pumpkins are cute. Like, sometimes, you know, the pumpkins are a bit childish, um, a bit cartoony. I actually really like these. They look um, real, you know? <laughs> I really like those. I, I'm going to be putting some of those in my basket or heading to the store to get some. So there's the little scullies on and off and the little bats on and off. Very cute. Now I'm very excited about this little Halloween house. Obviously it's made for kids to, to draw and colour in but <clears throat> if you're crafty and you fancy something to work on on a project of Halloween I think this is great like 12 99 and 14 99 probably comes flat pack and you could probably pick it up paint it this year put it down keep it for next year put it back up and if you're anything like me next year you'll add more to it because you'll realize how terrible your painting was last year because you're not an artist and you'll repaint it next year and it'll look even better classic Halloween candy bowl, gotta love those. I'm assuming that that's gonna be a multitude of colours as well. I'm gonna go for green and purple, probably a black. These creepy masks, honestly. <gasps> Look at these little boxes. Oh, I'm a sucker for a tiny box. I love them. Um, so again, four sort of designs. You've got a little ghost, a little spider, a little pumpkin, a little black cat. I very much am enjoying this little ghost. <laughs> so cute. Um, so you must get 24 in a pack and they are 10 99 Now, a little expensive, but if you've got a kid's party, I think that'd just be like the icing on the cake. So cute. 
Now they've got some of these like artificial grass sets and I have one up here which you just can't quite see um, that I sat my spooky house that I made last year on top of which I'm going to do a little walk around with you because I didn't show you it last year. Um, so I think that is everything that we have spotted on the range website. Now yeah we've seen those. So this is it guys, this is the first Code Orange of the UK that I have seen. I haven't seen anybody else talk about this. So I highly recommend if you want some of these pieces, get onto the Range website now. They've obviously uploaded the content, they've set them as live, they've got the stock, go for it. Um, do I think they're going to be adding more? Absolutely, it's only June and over here in the UK we don't quite get Halloween as early as the rest of America, like America does because they just get it super early and they have a, an amazing time for months. So if any of those pieces were something that you want for your party or for Halloween 2022, I highly recommend you get yourself over to the range and pick up a few bits. Thank you guys so much for watching this first Code Orange of the season. This is Code Orange 2022. We are doing this. I am so excited and I'm really proud of myself for being on the ball this year. Last year I talked a big game but didn't actually get out half as much stuff as I wanted to get out. So I have a new tripod which you sat on. I have um, some new software on my computer so hopefully I can do more things like this and walk you through websites um, and hopefully we'll do some crafting together this year and we'll obviously do some Halloween decor hunting even though I'm 99.9% .9 sure that my partner will hate me if I buy anything else but I work a full-time job, I'm allowed to spend my money however I want and the garage isn't full yet. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Um, let me know, let me know which piece you enjoyed. Let me know which piece you're definitely going to be getting your hands on. Are there any of the bits that are, you know, multitude of colours or shapes that you're probably going to wait to get for? Let me know what you want out of those. And um, let me know down in the comments or over on my Instagram um, if you've seen any other Code Oranges anywhere in the UK um, and I will try and get a video out about it. Um, couple more videos coming up guys and uh, I will see you in the next one. Code Orange, let's go!